Hey, what's up guys? Justin from Out of the Basement here, and today I am going to be doing another one of my Black Series update videos. This is actually Black Series update number 25. 25 of these bad boys have come out. If you're not familiar with these videos, I basically just go over and recap the Black Series figures that I have picked up from last episode to this episode. Before we begin, hit that like button for us and subscribe if you are new. We are always talking about Star Wars the Black Series here on the channel. I gotta say, lately I've just been really, really excited about the Black Series line. There's a lot of new sculpts coming out. There's a lot of banging figures that have just come out. There are only nine figures on this episode, but all nine are pretty great, especially coming down off of all of the Star Wars celebration reveals with all the Inquisitors and the Kenobi figures that are like all like brand new head to toe, even the Inquisitors, like there's no reuse between them. And I don't know, I've just been really happy with the line lately. All that being said, let's just jump right into this episode with my first pickup being the client from the Mandalorian. This was an Amazon pickup. I really, really actually ended up liking this figure. It does reuse General Lando legs, but other than that, I think it's all brand new. And of course, it comes with the Camtono, which is like the number one reason to get this, other than being a Warner Herzog figure, which I like that as well. I think Hasbro did a great job including accessories that might sway one person or the other to pick this figure up who might not have picked it up otherwise if they just did the generic black series thing which would be to give him a blaster wave 32 is seriously like one of the best waves in recent years a lot of it not only is brand new but with the less desirable figures they did a great job of putting those accessories in there to make up for them being like the less desirable characters. We also see that with my next pickup, which is Omega from the Bad Batch. This is another one. And in this case, it's a small figure, but they jam pack the accessories in to make up for it. I really applaud that. The energy bow thing, Ruby. We also have the little gas mask respirator thing. It's just, they, included a decent amount of things to make up for it. I also think the sculpt is nice and the likeness is nice and she just does a great job completing that Bad Batch team. I think she's pretty essential for a Bad Batch display and I am absolutely glad to have her. This was another Amazon purchase. So Wave 32 is like, it, it, it's been available for these last like couple of months readily and it's just proof that we were correct when we said that the 2023 nonsense that Hasbro has been doing, that's all just like a placeholder, you know, in case there is shipping delays with everything going on in the world, it's just to say, hey, you know, we said 2023, but I literally have all these figures in my possession. I had them like two months ago. And it's just proof that, uh, you know, you don't need to be outraged over the 2023 thing. I think we're going to end up getting a lot of this stuff a lot earlier than its expected release date. Moving on, I actually got this one from Nate because his dork side wave 32 shipped and that is Echo again from the Bad Batch. I guess this one completed the Bad Batch for me personally. And aside from, you know, maybe clone legs, but the knee pads are a little bit different. This is also a new figure. Even the backpack and like the torso is different. It's not just like Hunter or Crosshair. And yeah, he looks great with the helmet, without the helmet. And this is another one in wave 32 that included a pretty cool accessory with the claw thing that must have been from the concept art again wave 32 just has pretty solid accessories across the line i'm super happy with echo i think he might be my favorite bad batch figure but is that just because it was the last one you needed to complete the team i'm not sure but i love the sculpt i love the helmet I love pretty much everything about it. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna say it, my favorite Bad Batch figure. Up next, I finally found Boss, the gaming greats, you know, a member, the leader of Delta Squad from Republic Commando. I told myself I was not gonna pre-order this one because I do think the Hunter reuse is pretty egregious. I think Clone Commandos are some bulky, bulky boys, but I told myself I would only pick this one up if I found it in store, which I finally, it kind of took a while, but I finally ended up finding it in store. It was actually, I was on a trip in the next state over, stopped in a GameStop in a mall actually, and 
found it and I was pretty happy. I think the orange is pretty striking and I like Republic Commando, I like Delta Squad and just it it fits on my shelf personally. I'm I'm glad to have it. Nate did catch a restock of this figure, the Tartakovsky 2D Clone Wars Mace Windu for me he caught a restock and just bought it on a whim knowing that i wanted it which i did want it so big shout out to nate for picking me up a mace windu i love mace windu i love sam jackson i love his purple lightsaber i love clone wars and i love jedi generals in clone armor they pretty much knocked this figure out of the park as well i love the upper chest clone armor i love the arm you know clone armor that's on the arms i hope we get more jedi generals with the clone armor as a result of this figure they now have that armor you know they have the tooling for the arms and such it's a fantastic sam jackson likeness as well i also think you can kind of fudge it and just put this one in a 3d clone wars display i think you can fit them into that display no problem up next we have a death watch mandalorian i actually have two of this now because i got one from nate's dork side case and then i found one at a local target and this is seriously one of the best black series figures of 2022 this might be my personal favorite i am not sure it's either that or ahsoka from wave 32 from the mandalorian but the death watch mando is just utterly amazing i can't stress enough that this is an all new mold head to toe there is no reuse on here aside from the blaster pistol i love the newer blaster rifle that it comes with and again brand new head to toe i can't help but think that a lot of the community probably wrote this one off as like a din Djarin repaint no brand new brand new brand new i love the articulation on this guy the sculpt is like perfect with the proportions and everything i love the helmet i like the very very light light purplish color of the flight suit i just pretty much love everything about this figure again this is either number one or two for me so far of the year i really recommend this figure continuing on we do have a deluxe figure now that isn't really deluxe it's the boba fett from the book of boba fett even though if you watch my review i explain that it is a mandalorian season two look i really really like the re-armored look of boba fett so i wanted to pick this one up i found it at a walmart actually in the wild and i would recommend checking out the review i did of it if you want my more in-depth thoughts i'm not a fan of them just spreading out the accessories in the box to make it seem deluxe but it is in my opinion better than the sh figure arts the sh figure arts the cloth goods is a skirt instead of the drapes and it's actually inaccurate. The Black Series is more accurate than the SH Figure Arts. And the fact that they're even comparable at, you know, a Black Series release versus a SHF, the fact that they're even comparable even at that deluxe price point, I think that says a lot about the Black Series release. I like the helmet better than the SH Figure Arts. I like the Temera Morrison head sculpt better than the SH Figure Arts. I know I don't necessarily need to compare it, but I think that's important because like, it's better. Not a fan of the deluxe, but I'm still happy to have it. I'll pay an extra five or six dollars here and there. I do, you know, they do push it. You know, I'm not gonna pick up the Tython Jedi Ruins Boba Fett as a result of the deluxe nonsense. You know, you fool me once and I'll, I'll do that, but I'm not gonna do that for every single damn Boba Fett reskin that they're just gonna spread the accessories out like that. Not a fan of that. Stop doing that. Up next is another figure I found in the wild. I've been finding a lot of stuff in the wild lately. I've been having tons of luck out finding stuff in store, which is great for our area. It's usually pretty dry, but I managed to find my second 212th clone trooper from Walgreens. This is the Walgreens exclusive. It's sorely missing the black line, but I still really like the figure because it's a clone trooper. It's on the new clone body. I love the Clone Wars, and I was really trying to find a second one because I like to have two of every trooper. That's like a golden rule here at Out of the Basement. Yeah, it was just pretty exciting to find one in the wild because they're super hard to get, but they are out there. It's just one because Walgreens does the really, really stupid like case. They split up the case at the distribution center or wherever and they just ship them off to individual stores like you're lucky to get like one or two that sucks i wish they would stop doing that nonetheless i'm glad to have a second of these troopers and finally this is actually a figure that i've been waiting for the pre-order process for like months and months after you know a lot of other people got theirs 
and this figure actually catches me up with the black series it's a really weird thought to be like completely caught up and that is the umbra arc trooper the umbra operative the gaming greats gamestop exclusive and you know if you checked out nate's review i don't even have to tell you but i'm going to tell you anyway it has a very striking color scheme go back in nate's review and take a shot every time he says striking color scheme you'll probably die the figure itself just looks beautiful i like the arc trooper mold and I truly hope that they just go all out, kind of like they did with the Vintage Collection. I hope we get like the regular look and the Lambent Seeker and like the other one. I hope they just do all of the ARC Trooper repaints. And yeah, I'm finally caught up with Black Series. Like there's nothing I'm working for. It's a weird feeling to get off work and just go like directly home and not have that thought like, ooh, should I check Walmart, Target, Walgreens? No, I have nothing to look for now. I have no no figure, just like the pre-orders that are like kind of far out. It's a it's a weird feeling, but it's a nice feeling to be caught up with the Black Series. With that being said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been picking up Black Series wise. Have you guys been catching up? Have you secured all of Wave 32? Did you get your Umbra Arc Trooper? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe if you are new. We are always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you would like to support us in a more direct way, we do offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. You get some custom made clone trooper loyalty badges that go right next to your name and they change based on how long you've been a member. There's also some custom emojis that you can use in our live stream chats or our comment sections that are super cool and we highly appreciate everyone who has signed up to become a member. There is a join button next to the subscribe button, but if you don't see that, there is a link in the description below. If you can't support us in that way, absolutely no problem. Just simply liking, watching, subscribing, etc. That's all good enough for us. We appreciate all almost 10,000 of you. I've been Justin from Out of the Basement, and we will see you guys next time.